Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you the story of success of Charles Thomas Munger, who is an American billionaire investor, businessman, and former real estate attorney. He is presently the vice president of Berkshire Hathaway. He was born on January 1st, 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska. He enrolled at the University of Michigan where he studied mathematics. In early 1943, a few days after his 19th birthday, he dropped out of college to serve in the US Army Air Corps, where he became a second lieutenant and he excelled in law school and graduated from Harvard Law School in 1948. In 1962 he became a founding partner of Munger Tools and Olson LLP where he served as a real estate attorney. He and Jack Wheeler established the investment firm Wheeler Munger and Company which was listed on the Pacific Coast Stock Exchange. After the firm accumulated losses of 32% in 1973 and 31% in 1974, he was forced to wind it up in 1976. Dan Munger and Warren Buffett met through a mutual contact in 1959 in Omaha, Nebraska at dinner. They connected well and in 1978 he was appointed the vice president of Berkshire Hathaway where he and Buffett have worked together ever since. He is often referred to Buffett's right hand man and Buffett himself regards him as his partner. From 1984 to 2011 He served as the CEO and chairman of Besco Financial Corporation which is now a fully owned subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. Alongside being the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, he serves as the chairman of Daily Journal Corporation and director of Costco Wholesale Corporation. According to Forbes, Munger has an estimated net worth of dollar 1.9 billion as of January 2021. From his second marriage with Nancy Berry, Munger has four children. In his 50s, after a failed eye cataract surgery that rendered his left eye blind, Munger had his left eye removed due to severe pain. But fortunately, he still has sight in his right eye. To those who know him well, Charles is a fiercely independent intellectual who, in the words of his partner Buffett, marches to the beat of his music. I think that is enough for an introduction and let us now explore some business strategies adopted by Charles Munger that made him what he is today. Strategy number 1, success stems from divergence. Charles says that when you look at the most successful business leaders in the world, perhaps the most common pattern is that they brought something new to the table, whether it was through innovation or disruption. The most impactful brands can take an idea and bring it to the next level. One of his favorite example is of GoPro. When GoPro came to the scene in the early 2000s, it was clear they were bringing something unique to the world of video. Their culture revolves around being adventurous and showcasing your experiences. A critical contributor to this culture is the GoPro channel, a page on the website where people can submit their GoPro videos. The coolest one are shown on the channel. Strategy number 2, be vivacious. One thing that Charlie Munger hates is self-pity. Given the situation he was struggling in, Munger can have easily switched to alcohol or drugs to spare himself apart from the struggles, but he didn't. It was not because he did not have money, but because he did not have a will to fall for self-pity. Applying the same in equity trading, all traders and investors must look at the brighter side than pity the situation. It was the money that you invested. If you are profitable, you celebrate. If you are not profitable, you move ahead. Hanging on the edge of a chance doesn't provide a solution. Strategy number three: Maintain a student mindset. Charles believed that every single day is an opportunity to become smarter and more aware of the world around you. As the business world is constantly changing and evolving. This is an especially important mindset to have as an entrepreneur. Otherwise, growth is simply not possible. He recommends starting your mornings by taking 30 minutes or so to read up the latest industry news or trending blog post. Who knows which day may give an additional boon to your business. Strategy number 4. If you want to get rich, be patient and rational. Charles says that when he looks at the people in his generation who were the nerds who were patient and rational eventually did well who lived within their income and worked at being sensible and when they saw an opportunity grabbed it pretty fiercely and he still thinks that will work for the new nerds of the world there's no shortcut to wealth creation 
being patient rational and enjoying the ride is the key to a life well lived and when you see an opportunity grab it fiercely strategy number 5 you don't have to be smart charles advocates that part of the reason that some of the companies that he has been affiliated with have been successful is that we were not so smart it's just that we had a sound mind because a lot of what goes on is nuts this boils down to keeping your head when everyone else is going crazy if you can do that you can get rich so friends i hope you have enjoyed this video and the business strategies presented in it we will be back with more of such interesting videos very soon till then please take care and goodbye